this is Anita from 5 Minutes with Art. You know, if you've been listening to me, one of the things you'll know is I love all kinds of artists and I appreciate all kinds of artists. And one of them that I really love and appreciate is William de Kooning. And I was asking the question or, or answering the question, why is William de Kooning's interchange the most expensive painting? This painting in 2015 sold for $300 million, which is an astounding price for a painting that's only 79 inches by 69 inches. So you think about that, it's not really that large of a painting, but yet the painting sold for $300 million. That means that one square inch of the painting sold for an astronomical amount. You think about that, just one square inch of that painting sold for a huge amount of dollars. Here are some of the reasons why it sold for such an amount. First of all, it is painted by William de Kooning. Now, William de Kooning is considered one of the founders of the Abstract Expressionism movement. And because of this, you know, works by many of abstract expressionism artists as Mark Rothko, Jackson Pollock, and other self-record amounts of money. His paintings are valuable. You know, most of them continue to sell, and they continue to sell for a lot of dollars. And collectors like these paintings. This, of course, drives up the price because the collectors like them. They appreciate them. Uh, maybe it's the kind of art that they want to have. The other reason is that basically the painting had excellent provenance. Like many of William de Kooning's paintings, this painting has perfect provenance. In other words, there's absolutely no question at all whether or not this is a real de Kooning painting or not. One of the problems with some of the older masters is some of the provenance, is that they're really not sure. Is this a fake? Is this a real? And so some of those paintings may have a harder time fetching large amounts of dollars if they're not exactly sure what the provenance is of those paintings. This painting has rarely been on public display. And so that's another reason why maybe the whole mystery sort of surrounding the painting itself. It's a painting that has not been out there a lot with the public. And so this made it more mysterious and this made more collectors want it. You know, originally the painting was sold in 1955 for $4,000. You know, think about that. And in 2015, it sold for $300 million. That's a huge, huge investment. If someone had bought that in 1955 and just held on to it, that would be a huge investment to have for that painting. The painting itself is known as Interchanged. And it's important painting too because it marks the transition between William de Kooning's paintings of the female form to more urban landscapes. From the painting, we can also see some influence from Frank Klein. That's why this also is such a fascinating painting of William de Kooning's, you know, himself and why it's such an important painting. You know, de Kooning is known as an abstract expressionist who, you know, painted, you know, quick gestural marks. You know, he painted landscapes, but he still, you know, had a lot of the female form in his painting. For some reason, he was really fascinated with this female form. And if you know anything about him, you'll know that those are a lot of his very famous paintings. But, the, the, you know, this painting of Interchange kind of marked a little bit of a, a difference in that. And, and, you know, that is one of the reasons why it is, you know, considered to be such an important painting and is a painting which is fetched for such high amounts of dollars. If you'd like to be able to learn more about this painting, actually see this painting online or learn um, 11 fascinating facts about William de Kooning, we're going to put a link to our blog post, which is Why is William de Kooning's Interchange the Most Expensive Painting? And you can be able to read more about him, this fascinating artist, this great artist, and be able to learn you know, just more about him and more about this painting itself and why this is such an important and significant painting and why it sold for $300 million. This is Anita from 5 Minutes with Art. Thank you so much for listening. We really do appreciate you listening to us. We have hope that you've enjoyed this podcast. We'd like to also thank our team, specifically Rico, for help making this possible and getting this all out there to the world for you to be able to hear and listen to this. We hope that this has been informative and that you have enjoyed this because we love art. Thank you so much.